There are three ways to add inventory into Masterpiece version 10. Uh, you can add inventory one at a time uh, by selecting Inventory, Items, Add. You can uh, select uh, uh, to add inventory you know, multiple pieces at a time. This is particularly helpful when uh, a vendor or an artist uh, delivers multiple uh, pieces of inventory and you want to add those all at the same time. The method that we're going to focus on today, however, is importing inventory which is particularly helpful when first getting started with Masterpiece if you've been managing your inventory in a spreadsheet or maybe another database program uh, where you'll want to add inventory maybe dozens, hundreds, or even thousands of pieces at a time and to be able to do that in seconds without uh, lots of keystrokes. So let me show you how that's done. Uh, we select inventory, items, and then import. Up will pop uh, the inventory import tool. It's a three-step process. Uh, you attach a file, you match up the fields between that file and uh, the Masterpiece database, you verify that the data is accurately uh, uh, been mapped uh, to the system, and then you process it. I actually already have a uh, source file uh, set up to do this. You'll notice that there are about six pieces of inventory here. In the uh, first row, you'll see that uh, we've created some headers that identify what the information is in the spreadsheet. Let me go ahead and close that. Uh, this happens to be a comma separated value spreadsheet, a CS .csv file. Uh, you can use tab delimited. Uh, we'll also support Excel, but uh, comma delimited is uh, the most common format uh, uh, that works on all platforms. To attach that file, I simply select the Browse tool. Up will pop a dialog bo box. I happen to know that that file is on my desktop, uh, and it is uh, called Sample Inventory. So I'll go ahead and select that and attach it. That takes us to step two, which is uh, to map the fields in the file to the fields in the database. The source file column actually is looking at that first row in the spreadsheet and uh, pulling that information in. Where Masterpiece can, it's going to uh, automatically match uh, that header up with the field in the Masterpiece database. Where it can't, we simply have the opportunity to do that manually. For example, I happen to know that uh, type uh, matches up with the database field addition type in uh, Masterpiece, and don't worry, uh, we'll provide you really good uh, documentation so that this can be done really simply. Um, uh, so you simply go through and match these up so that uh, the information will be imported accurately. I'll take just a second in doing this. Art price, art cost, Dimension type has already been identified, so we'll go to Art Height. All right, once that's all been mapped, then we verify that the data uh, matches up in the system. So you, uh, Masterpiece will put this in a simple format so you can quickly go through and say, uh, is the information that is actually in the spreadsheet uh, mapping to where I want it to in the, in the uh, system? In this case, the answer is yes. The last step is to process this uh, uh, import. Before I do that, notice over on the left-hand side here, it says the total number of items in the system currently is 47. Watch that change. I'll simply hit Process. Masterpiece is now importing that data from the spreadsheet, and now we have 53 items in the Masterpiece database. That's how easy it is to import inventory in a Masterpiece version 10. The same utility is available in the Contact Management section, so you can import all of your contacts. We'll cover that in another video. Thank you so much.